Hi, good evening. Happy Wednesday. Happy midweek service. Merkulesa naman po ng gabi. Welcome po sa Walk by Faith Church of the Nazarene, or also known as uh, Los Angeles LA First Pipino Church of the Nazarene. For tonight, we will talk about the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. The problem with the golden rule, madami siyang versions. No? Nakita ko na merong version na sabi ni Confucius, do not do unto others what you don't want others to do unto you. Hmm, that's so confusing yun. Sa Tagalog, eh, kung ano ang hindi mo gusto, wag gawin sa iba, gawin yan. Hindi ka, <laughs> wrong spelling pa. Wag gawin sa iba. Sabi naman na iba, do to others as they do it unto you. In Filipino, gawin mo sa iba pag may ginawa sila para sa iyo. How about do it to me first before you do it unto them? Uh, pag bigyan kita, um, bigyan mo na ako. Pero naalala yun eh, doon sa tunay na ibig sabihin ng golden rule na treat others the way you want to be treated. Walang nasabi sa 1 Thessalonians, Chapter 3, verse 12. And may the Lord cause you to increase and abound in love for one another and for all people, just as we also do for you. Kung paano ko tinuring kayo, gusto ko mag-increase kayo sa pag-ibig no? sa isa't isa at sa lahat ng tao. Yung nasabi ni Paul sa taga Thessalonica. Sa totoo lang, we need to grow. You cannot stagnate in loving people. Kasi love is the operating system of God. Love, baga, ito yung motivation nating lahat bilang krisyano. We need to keep growing in love. But what is the practical application of love? Natanong ba natin yun? Alam nyo, as we need to grow in love, as, uh, we, as, as we understand that we cannot stagnate in loving people, Ito yung sabi ng Biblia. Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. Yan. Kusan natin yung mga Biblia natin. Sabi dito, In everything, therefore, treat people the same way you want them to treat you. For this is the law and the prophets. Mm -hmm. Kilala niyo pa ito? Yung mga Noranians ba yan? Yan. Si Nora o Nora? Si Vil Masantos? Ito, kilala niyo. Mga Sharon yan. Sharon ko na yan. Si Diamond Star. Ito si Superstar. Star for all seasons. Mega Star. Diamond Star. Si Maricel Soriano. Ito, si Jennifer Lopez. Important naman. Si Madonna. I'm sure kilala niyo yan. Lali na yung mga 80s kids. Si uh, Angelina Jolie. How about this? Ito naman sa mga medyo baby boomers. Si Elizabeth Taylor. Alam nyo, meron silang isang common denominator. Lahat sila star. Pero lahat sila, either they were married more than once or nagkaroon sila ng relationship. No, uh, a live-in relationship more than once. So, bakit natin tinatanong ito? Kasi alam nyo, Si Elizabeth Taylor, minsan tinanong siya, sabi niya, uh, yung bata daw siya, sabi na mami niya, when you will try to find love, no, pursue happiness doon sa pag-ibig na hinahanap mo. Kaya naman, hinahanap niya to eight times. Si Elizabeth Taylor ay kilala sa kanyang violet, violet eyes. Diba? Okay. At uh, she was known to be married and divorced eight times. At isa sa mga napangasawa niya ay yung kanyang mismong personal driver. She died at the age of 75, well, well revered, well respected actress. No? 150 million worth in jewelry niya alone. No? Ganun siya kayaman. At saka ganun siya kaganda. Alam na during her time. Pero sa totoo lang, what is love? Kasi halos nung mga fina-follow natin ng mga sikat, nagkaroon sila somehow in their lives na parang they, it, it, it was a failure in a sense na uh, to, to, 
parang to transfer from one relationship to other to another no and uh because as they try to pursue as they try to find what is true love eh iba yung ibig sabihin ng hollywood love iba yung ibig sabihin ng showbiz love iba yung sinasabi ng god's love in john 13 34 to 35 it says a new commandment i give to you that you love one another even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. So, makikilala ng mga tao na kayo ay follower ko, kay disciples ko, kapag marunong kang magmahal. Alam nyo, sa tatang, love transcends feelings. It's a commandment. Okay? It's more than a feeling. Na itong feel ko ngayon, papakasalan ko siya, siya ang boyfriend ko, siya ang girlfriend ko, siya yung kalibin ko, kasi siya yung feel ko ngayon. It's more of, of a feeling. Siya yung uso. Okay? Siya yung sikat. It's not more than, it's, it, it's, it's, it's not just a feeling. It's a commandment. Ito yung utos ng Panginoon. It's a commitment. Commitment to people na hindi dahil siya ang uso, siya ang sikat, siya ang gusto mo. It's a commitment to love imperfect people. The new world is teaching us to search for Mr. and Miss Right and Mr. and Miss Perfect. The question is, before we search them, are we the right and the perfect person for them? Sabi ni Confucius, balikan natin kanina yung mga confusing na golden rule sabi ni Confucius no? si Confucius isa sa mga sikat na Chinese philosopher Yan. ito yung madalas kong isuot nung ako yung grade school na sapatos Confucius <laughs> Confucius pala yan Confucius sorry <laughs> sabi ni Confucius do not do unto others what you don't want others to do unto you no, huwag mong gawin sa iba kung ayaw mong gawin sa iyo, sabi niya. Pero medyo confusing yun eh, no? Kasi compared doon sa Matthew 7, 12 na binasa natin, na yung main text natin for tonight. In everything, therefore, treat people, treat people the same, you, the same way you want them to, to treat you. For this is the law and the prophet. Treat people the same way you want them to treat you. Again, treat people the same way you want them to treat you. They do unto others what you don't want others to do unto you. And golden rule, eh yung Matthew 7, 12, which is treat others the way you want to be treated. Explain natin. Nadaan na ba kayo sa 405? O kung kayo nakatira dito sa Los Angeles, kilang kilala ang 405 na ito yung EDSA namin. Madalas mag-traffic dito. Ba't sa'yo naman sobrang traffic na katayin na mama. So, pagka rush hour, traffic jam. Ito yung example given natin. Bawa, no? The law states that you can drive in sa 405 freeway. No? I-apply natin yung sinasabi ni Confucius. You don't want to bother others, right? Because you don't want to be bothered. As simple as that. So, yun. Applicable na. But here's the thing. Ito yung application nung golden rule na sinasabi ng Bible. No? But it doesn't tell you no? that when you see an accident, you should stop and help. It's an option on your part. Kasi sabi ni Confucius, parang tayo makonfuse, sabi niya, do not do unto others what you don't want others to do unto you. Okay? So, ang gawin mo, you don't, you don't bother other people, so they will not bother you. Just travel along 405. But here's the thing, pag may aksidente, paano mo i-apply yun? Applicable na to. Treat others the way you want them to be treated. Kasi, ito yung, it, ito yung tama. Nakita ka na aksidente, responsible ka na. Kailangan tumulong ka. Pero may option ka. Pwede kang di tumulong, pwede kang tumulong. Pero sino yung tutulong? Sino yung nakakaintindi ng tunay na pag-ibig? Okay? So, malinaw. I-treat 
others the way you want to be treated because that's a golden rule. But, you know, the law tells us what not to do. You know? It tells, it doesn't tell us what to do the godly way. But sino mo ang batas, di ba? Bawal ka. Sabi, sabi ng batas, do not beat the red light. Hindi. May citation ka. Do not park doon sa no parking. May citation ka. Do not do this. Do not do that. Imagine mo, kung yung mundo, every day, hindi nagbibit ng red light, sumusunod sa parking area, sumusunod sa lahat ng batas. Kailangan po ba ng batas? Ang batas, ginawa. Dahil may taong gusto mag-violate. But here's the thing. The law tells us what not to do. It doesn't tell us what to do the godly way. So, a golden rule is for us to do godly things for other people. Kasi, in return, hopefully, no, parisib mo sila. Everything in this world, you know, is conditional. Pero, in golden rule, whether you receive back from that person, tinulong mo, it doesn't matter. Because you are following God's will. There's a way for God to reward you. So, it doesn't matter. Hindi ka naman, if playing golden rule dyan, kasi alam ko, kilala ko yung tao na yun, stingy yan, okay, masamang tao yan, okay. hindi niya ibabalik sa akin yan, ano, it doesn't matter. The Lord will reward you in, 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 in His time, in His perfect ways. But all you have to do is do the godly way to all people. That's a good and good. May tanong. Ang mag-asawa, bakit ba nagsisingawan sila? No? Why do we shout at each other, sabi ng mag-asawa? Kasi nga, ina-apply nila to. Yung second confusing na golden rule. Do to others as they do it unto you. Eh, kasi narinig ko, sabi ng pastor, eh, ito yung golden rule. Eh. No? Kaya, sabi ng husband, bakit ka sumisigaw? Sabi ng wife, eh, sinisigaw mo rin kasi ako eh. Eh, sabi kasi, sa Bible, do to others as they do it unto you. It's naging confusing. Alam nyo, <laughs> hindi yun ang golden rule. Naalala ko lang, si Jollibee, para sa bata, siya ang bida. Alam nyo, sa Jollibee, ang costume nila, dinavalue nila. Kasi naniniwala sila na malaking factor ng kanilang success ay yung repeat business. Alam nyo, sa totoo lang, eh, lahat naman ng tao, lahat ng tao, no? people like to be valued. Amen ba? Di ba? At tayo, gusto natin na may respeto, kay rich man tayo, poor, young, old, whatever color of your skin, gusto natin vina value tayo. Na nagtatrabaho ko dati sa Jollibee, I remember the pestering power rule in Jollibee. No, no. Ang mga salesperson sa Jollibee na nasa counter area, they know this trick or marketing strategy na you need to suggest to kids na, Hi! Gusto mo pa ng kiddie meal? No, kasi yun yung metoy na meal. At ang mga bata, meron silang pestering power sa kanilang magulang na gusto nila na, na pag may gusto ang bata, kukulitin nila yung parent. Kung ang bata may pestering power sa magulang, ang parent merong purchasing power. Yun yung habol ng kumpanya na bumili sila ng kiddie meal. Kaya kailangan man ng bata o hindi. Sa totoo lang, kagat lang sila dun sa burger, kagat lang sila sa chicken chai, pero ang excited silang buksan yung toy. Kasi nga, bata. And then, eh, igagamitin nila yung pestering power nila sa parents nila para makabili ng kiddie meal. Here's the thing. Kaya ang mga crew na kahit anong fast food, tingnan nyo, lagi silang very respectful, lalong-lalo na sa bata. 
na sa Pilipinas nga, they call them, Hi, sir. Hi, ma'am. Kasi, why? Even kids, they want to be valued. How this company value their clients? Sabi nila, nakuha na natin si tatay at si nanay at saka si baby. Kasi magpapabili si baby ng kiddy meal. So doon na rin sila kakain ng chicken joint. But here's the thing. Hindi natin kuha si ate, si kuya, at si lolo, at si lola. <clears throat> Dahil si lola at si lola, ang hilig niyan, pansit, siopaw, mommy. Ang hilig naman ni kuya at ni ate. Ito yung market na pizza eating market. So, ang ginawa ng Jollibee, they acquired Chow King for Lolo and Lola and they acquired Greenwich for Ate and Kuya. Tapos meron silang tinatawag na co-branding na ginaya nila sa Pepsi. No? Yung Pepsi merong Pizza Hut, may Taco Bell, isang lugar. So, ganun din ang Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, KFC. At yung Jollibee, Papansin nyo, nagkaroon sila ng co-branding store. Sa isang store, merong Greenwich, may Jollibee, may Chowking. Para yung market dominance, eh, nandun. So, they know how to value their customers. They know how to value their, their, their market. Kasi ang tao, they love to be valued. Puti na lang, we are being valued by God. Mahal niya tayo. Alam niyo kung paano niya tayo binavalue? He gave his life for us. Kano niya tayo binavalue? Alam niyo paano tayo binavalue? Yung gano'n yan. He's interceding for us that we some, someday will, 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 will decide to accept Him as our personal Lord and Savior. To be with Him in eternity. Kano niya tayo binavalue? Alam sa totoo alam mo. If we have problems in giving time, in giving our wealth, in giving our effort, in giving our love, in giving our care, etc., to other people, which is nasabi ng Panginoon, we should love our neighbors, we don't know the real Lord. Hindi natin alam i-value yung relasyon natin sa Kanya. How about do it to me first before you do it unto them? Bigyan kita. Kung bibigyan mo muna ako. Sometimes, my wife and I argue as all normal, normal couples do. My problem is, totoo lang, I have this gift of correcting people. Tama naman yung pag-correct ko, pero minsan in a negative way. Especially pertaining to my wife. Sabi ko, minsan nainis ako sa asawa ko. Sabi ko, alam niyo, Lord, susumbong ko sa inyo wife ko. Kasi mali siya eh. Yung argument namin, obviously mali siya. Possible naman na mali siya. Possible ha, na ako yung tama. But here's the thing. Sabi ko, kaya ako nainis sa kanya. No, kasi 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, mali yung kanyang argument eh. Hindi kami magkasundo sa ganyan sa ganyan. One day, I'm about to preach about Ephesians 5 and 6, no? about, you know, Christian family. Before I preach on a certain chapter, I read the chapter before and chapter after para makita ko yung, connect, yung, yung connect, connection ng, ng mga chapters. Para makita ko yung storya, para makita ko yung kung ano yung nangyayari. And then nabasa ko itong Ephesians 4, 31 to 32. Sabi ng Panginoon, where's my answer? Jeff, listen. Sabi dito, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you. Along with all malice, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ, forgive you. Oh, sabi ko, Lord, malamang gusto mo ipabasa ko to sa wife ko. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sabi ng Lord, that's for you. In fact, 
As I mean, Proverbs 15, 1. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word steers up anger. Ooh. How about Proverbs 10, 12? Hatred steers up strife, but love covers all offenses. Alam niyo, I decided to stop reading. <laughs> Kasi, gets ko na. And I asked for forgiveness. And then, nasettle namin yung aming argument. Sa totoo lang, the golden rule is, in summary nito, the summary of all Christian ethics, ito, Romans 13.9. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet. And whatever other command there may be are summed up in this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. Romans 13.10 Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. It's Jesus Christ. No, he is love. He's the fulfillment of the law. Before, there were there was just as simple as ten commandments given to, given to Moses by God in Mount Sinai. What the what the Jewish people did is they created what six hundred ninety six commandments out of the ten, and when Jesus came, he simplified it into two: love your neighbor. Love God and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Because this is the fulfillment of the law. Alala ko lang. Speaking of uh, pagmamahal. Speaking of willing to give yung kanyang sarili or willing to love yung neighbor natin. There was a story about the sick husband, annoyed wife, and the honest practical doctor. One day, the husband was sick. They went to the doctor's clinic and uh, and uh, after all the tests, sabi ng doctor, husband, may I talk privately to your wife? So the husband stepped out of the clinic. So sabi ng doctor, this is the thing. Physically, walang sakit yung asawa mo. Everything is psychological. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You need to stop nagging. Number two, start, start caring for your husband. Number three, love him unconditionally. And number four, do not stress him. Wow. Sa paglabas ng wife sa doctor's office, Sabi ng husband, uh, Honey, ano ba ang sakit ko? Ano mo, sweetheart? Sabi ng doktor, Meron ka na lamang three months to live. Speaking of, speaking of people who doesn't want to change, no? Yan yung problema eh, yung selfishness na, Okay, if it will not go my way, I'll try to manipulate the situation. I hope hindi ganun yung asawa niyo. Anyway, sabi sa Luke 6, 31-33, and emphasize by Matthew, do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do that. Alam niyo, ang ultimate, ang ultimate manifestation ng love, ito yung challenge. No? Ito to lang, faith without action is dead. Diba? Christianity is best seen in action. Ang ultimate standard ng pag-ibig, hindi yung Hollywood love, hindi yung showbiz love. Hindi yun magpapalit-palit ka ng partner. We need to read the next verse. But love 
your enemies. Do good to them. Ah, eh, nakasulat eh. And lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great. Hindi maganda na reward. And you will be children of the Most High. Hindi na mas maganda. Because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Sabi ng Panginoon, I am kind sa mga ungrateful at sa mga wicked. Sana ganun ka din. That is love. That is the golden tool. But here's the thing. Nagaya nung wife kanina, ano ba major problem natin? Selfishness. Plain and simple selfishness. Lahat tayo. Lahat tayo. Selfishness is actually a fantastic way to be miserable. Gusto mo maging miserable yung buhay mo? Maging selfish ka. Philippians 2, 3, 4. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interest of others. Question, how to apply the golden rule? Answer, follow the example of Jesus. He loved us. We loved Him because He first loved us. He is the creator of heaven and earth. His first intention, day one, is to create no, a human being in accordance sa kanyang likeness. No, for Him to love that creation and that creation to love Him back. And loving back is not actually, not necessarily an automatic implanted chip sa atin, but it's an option. It's an option for us. You know, we call it free will. We can love him back or hate him. We have this option to be with him or not to be with him. But as you can see, in Golden Rule, tinitreat niya tayo na maganda, no, bakit hindi natin siya i-treat ng tama? Yung tao, dapat i-treat natin ng maganda, ng tama, kay worth ba sila na i-treat na tama? Kay, kay dapat ba sila na, na uh, kumbaga, kahit hindi ka rin kaganda o gali, kahit kaaway natin, kahit pinapainit yung ulo natin. Pero ano sabi ng Diyos, treat them as you want them, as you want to, to be treated. Apply the golden rule not to people only na lovable, even to those people na unlovable. Be like Jesus. Jesus is your role model. No? Follow the example of Jesus. He died for us. That is love. The willingness to die for the person that you love. Hindi kagaya na, ano, simple lang sabi ng doktor, huwag mo lang stressin, mahalin mo. Huwag kang magnag. Gagaling ang asawa mo. Paglabas niya, sabi niya, three months ka na lang, mamatay ka na. She doesn't want to change. It's selfishness. Here's the thing. Ang gusto ng Panginoon, mapabuti ka. Ang gusto ng Panginoon, mapaganda yung kalagayan mo sa buwan. Ang gusto ng Panginoon, gumawa ka ng kabutihan dahil reflection niya yan. Ang gusto ng Panginoon, tulungan mo yung mga tao na makakilala sa Kanya. Ang gusto ng Panginoon, makasama ka niya sa buhay na walang hanggan. Those are all beautiful promises from God. At meron siyang intention na i-fulfill lahat ng promises niya. In fact, day one ng fulfillment, when you accept Him as your personal Lord and Savior. Ano ang golden rule? Treat others the way you want to be treated. Okay, lovable or hindi lovable? Ano ang motibo? Pag-ibig. Pag-ibig na nagaling sa Diyos. Hindi pag-ibig mo, hindi showbiz pag-ibig, hindi Hollywood love. Pag-ibig na galing sa Diyos. Yung pag-ibig na sabi niya na love me, love God, 
and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Neighbor is na lovable, I think be lovable. That's the golden rule. Ang, motiv- ang motivation mo, pag-ibig. Wala nang iba. Pag-ibig. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for tonight, Lord God. Uh, thank you for teaching us about the true golden rule. The true selflessness. The true love coming from you. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us an opportunity to exemplify your love, especially sa mga taong mahal namin at hindi namin mahal. Lord, we accept you as our personal Lord and Savior. We believe that you died for us. We believe that you rose from the dead. We believe that you ascended to heaven and someday that you will come back and we will be with you in eternity. Bless your people, Lord God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.